welcome to the dressage draw leg five of the 2019 event rider masters series the penultimate leg of the year and it is here at beautiful mill street the first time the series has headed over to irish soil and we are really looking forward to a brilliant weekend we've 10 of the world's top 30 riders we've seven different nations represented and eight former leg winners in the lineup as well delighted to be joined by emma duggan for the dressage draw emma just tell us a little bit about mill street so we're delighted to be here and it's an incredible place even though it is a little bit gray at the moment yes yeah, so we're delighted to be welcoming the event rider master starling for the first time and it's a huge honor for us to be hosting it uh, the horse trials are only running since 2015 this year we have a record number of entries as well over 400 international entries the biggest event to ever be held in ireland as well as welcoming over 16 nations There's a huge historic background. Uh, it has been one of the founding estates in Mill Street. Uh, it has been a convent and now it is an accommodation centre. Well, it's brilliant. Well, Drishane Castle, the backdrop for the cross country in particular this weekend. So let's start with the dressage draw. I'll just tell you how this works. So in the Event Rider Master series, the dressage is actually seeded. So up to the last five tests for each of the horses at this level is taken. An average is given and that splits the group into three blocks. So three groups of 10. Those with the best average in the field will be coming forward in group A. So the last group. So it'll be group C, then group B, then group A. So we've got some really good names spread throughout the competition. Emma, get us started. Who is going to be first down the centre line? We go live at 11. 11.45 and first horse 12.15 and it is one of the home favourites Michael Ryan, Barnahown, Cornhill and then it will be oh my goodness an early draw for the Jardy winners Gireg Lacaz, Esprit de la Lode for France they were so impressive to finish on their dressage score in Jardy to take leg four big series contenders as well currently sitting in fourth in the series league then it is Daniel Alderson with T.S. Jemimo, T.S. Jemimo, the oldest horse in Event Rider Masters history, 20 years of age making the lineup this weekend. And next to come forward, making his Event Rider Masters debut, Patrick Whelan and Football. And then it'll be Cattle Daniels, OLS King Aragon, Cattle who we have won a Team Silver at the World Equestrian Games last year. And then it will be the individual bronze medalist from the Pan American Games just a few weeks ago in Lima, Peru. It is Carlos Paro. He rides Calcourt Landline, a horse that he's ridden in Event Rider Masters legs previously. And then it'll be Jim Newsom with his longtime campaigner, McGinnis. And then for Australia, Sam Griffiths. He comes forward with Billy Liffey. So in this first session of dressage, the rider to go will be Izzy Taylor. She's a former Event Rider Masters leg winner and this horse, Perfect Stranger, who's an actual former of the four star long here a couple of years ago and the horse that really loves competing on Irish soil. And then it is a lady who's been on an Event Rider Masters podium before, that was at Gatcombe a couple of years ago, Elizabeth Power with Samuel Thomas, a horse that actually can be really quick on the cross country, so look out for them. So that is the first session of dressage. Let's take a look at how those riders make the lineup and a big name straight from the off, second into the arena, the Jardy winners, Girig Lacoz and Esprit de la Loge. Look out for them. They scored a 28 in Jardy. If they can be anywhere close to that here in Mill Street, they will be looking to challenge the podium once again. Well, let's take a look now at the second session of dressage. So who is going to be first in after the break? Emma, do the honours. Okay. Some big names in this session and getting us underway. Very talented young lady, Bobby Upton and Cannavaro. Bobby, who actually was part of the Young Rider team gold a few weeks ago, took an individual silver on that occasion. And then, well, this is a combination who finished second at Chatsworth. Tom McEwen, Figaro Van Het Brooks off. Second at Chatsworth, as I say earlier on in the season, also backed that up with a second place at Le Moulin in the five star this summer. Well, it'll be the Echo Ratings favorite in next. Sam Watson, Imperial Sky, a horse who comes here is probably one of the favourites for the home nation. Took a win in the Nations Cup at Campfire last time out. And then the Wiesbaden 2017 winners, Sarah Cohen and Treason. Sarah also not out of the series reckoning as well in sixth place on the series leaderboard. Lucy Jackson for New Zealand next up with Superstition. That's a horse who actually was third on the podium at Chatsworth a little bit earlier on this year. 
and Flora Harris Bayano, a horse who actually was only one of four clear inside the time on the cross country here 12 months ago. She would be looking to do that again for her best event by the Masters finish, her previous best fourth at Barbary. Millie Dumas, Fabian, a horse who has good form on tattersalls. Richard Coney and Kananas. He's a horse that has actually been top 10 at a number of four star levels. Actually finished in the top five at Haradapan in the Nations Cup last year. Previously second at Barbary. Look out for them. Big event Rider Masters debut coming up, I am sure. So that is the second session of dressage. Let's just remind ourselves some really big names in here. The likes of Tom McHugh and Lucy Jackson, both on the podium at Chatsworth a little bit earlier on this year. And of course, the young guns in Bubby Upton and Richard Coney. this level of competition previously as well watch out for a big test from that combination and the big guns keep on coming the fbi world has got to comprise with his on wheels and a press with the tpc levels so they will be next to come forwards and then the 2018 series champion it is chris burton and graph over here also has topped an event rider masters podium previously at blair 12 months ago chris burton currently sitting in third in the series challenge big weekend for him Irish team who won silver at the World Equestrian Games last year. And for the United States, Liz Halliday Sharp of Fernhill by Night, a horse who was top 10 in Bees Garden. Titan. He's been on an Event Rider Masters podium before. Everyone would dearly love to see him get some very good series points here this weekend. And then it is the Jardy 2018 winners. Alex Braggins the Greb. I put them up on the Event Podcast as we go on the podium this weekend. Watch this space. And finally, competing with Dressage a little past 20 past 5, they'll be going down the centre line. It is Emily King and Brooklyn, a horse who has been so impressive, particularly in the first phase on their last three runs. Watch out for them. So that concludes the dressage draw. Emma, can I ask who you think is going to be on top of the podium at the end of the weekend? Well, here in Ireland, we've got a very strong uh, event driver, so I'll really be rushing for one of them to, to take it home in the street from the first Irish leg. Well, watch this space. Who will be on top of the podium Saturday afternoon? Remember the dressage taking place on Friday, 11.45, we go live for all of the broadcast. 12.15, the first horse down at the centre line. We hope you can join us. It is the penultimate leg of 2019, and it promises to be an absolute cracker. Eventridermasters.com.